So how's this transition for you? I know it's just been a few months now, but with the tight ends. Uh, it's been good. You know, I've I've really been in this system a long time, and then I've been you know in the different rooms, uh, whether it was receivers in San Francisco or the O line in San Francisco. So I've been in this system a long time, so it's pretty pretty easy for me so far. Yeah, obviously David's talking over there. Um, like, what are your expectations for him? You know, he signed that big contract, and it's his role now. Uh, what are you looking for him this season? You know, he's made a lot of progress since I've been here when I got here in 2020. Um, and, you know, in this offense, we ask him to do a lot. Okay, we ask him in pass protection, um, running down the field, running routes, and then the run game and a bunch of different kinds of runs, a bunch of different schemes. And so I expect him to take the next step in all those things, really. He wants to be a great player, and, you know, I'm here to help him try and do that. As a playmaker, do you see, like, he's just hit the tip of the iceberg there? Definitely. He's got all the ability in the world, right? We all see that. Um, and then it comes down to opportunities and then taking advantage of those opportunities. And I think we'll have a good chance this year to give him a chance to do that. Do you think that, I mean, you got a lot of young receivers, so do you think tight ends can kind of help carry the load to start off? I think in this offense, we always have to be ready for that. We get moved around a lot. Uh, we can play, we can wear a bunch of different hats. Um, like I said, just pass protection, running routes, run game. And so I think definitely in our room, we feel that way. Oh, Harrison's, you know, the production, you know, probably isn't what anybody's wanted the last two years. But if you watch our tape, he's been a very good player for us since he got here. He does a lot of things that uh, don't show up on the stat sheet necessarily, but we expect him to take a, the next step as well. Um, Do you think he has the potential for sort of a, a breakout type of season now that, you know, it's kind of just him and David that he's been one step? Yeah, I'll stay away from the term breakout season. I want him to play well, whatever we ask him to do. And we ask him to do a lot. And so, again, some of those things will show up in the stat sheet. Some of them won't. But I expect him to play really well for us, for sure. How is his blocking? Uh, very good. I think this scheme fits him. Wide zone. Um, he's gotten bigger. He's gotten stronger. He can handle some of the other stuff now, too. But uh, you know, our main deal is wide zone, and he's built for that. How about the two rookies? It's early for those guys. But what have you seen from them so far? Um, you know what? They've made steady improvement. Again, this offense is so hard on that position specifically, especially for a guy who hasn't played the sport in a long time. And so them taking steps has been really, really good. Um, they got to continue to keep pushing, keep pushing, and try and carve, them, carve themselves out a role. And they both have the ability to do that. They're big guys. Um, we just got to continue with the skill development with both of them. Is there a part of it, like, as in, we don't expect you to be great right away, like, coaching them along at a gradual pace? You know, I think there is part of that, but part of the NFL is you don't get a ton of chances. And so we understand where they're starting, but it's their job to make it up because it's the NFL. Everybody wants to be here. Everybody's trying to get their, uh, get their shot. So uh, while there's a level of understanding there, um, when you get to this time of the year, it's about can you help us win football games? Did you ever work with a basketball player that made the transition? What's that? Did you ever work with a basketball player? No, this will be my first time. This will be my first time doing that, working with him. Kevin's talked about how the offense will change because of the change of quarterback from last year to this year. How much less do you think we'll see like the three tight end sets, maybe even some of the two tight end sets, just given the evolution of the offense? Um, I think it really that depends week to week who you're playing, um, the matchups you can generate based on the scheme you're playing. So I don't think it. I don't think you could sit here right now and say it's going to be less 13 personnel or less three tight ends, less two tight ends. I think it really depends on how we can generate matchups. And so week to week uh, in this offense, we have available to us all of those personnel. Where some teams can't do that, we can. So I think that gives us an advantage. And all the time you've been watching him, Joku, what stands out about his development? Uh, since it's the first time I'm in the room with him, um, I think the biggest thing is how smart he is. Uh, he's got a really good grasp of what's going on. Um, he's been in this offense since be his third year here. Um, so. I think that's the biggest thing that I necessarily didn't know about him when I'm in a different room. Absolutely, he's got the chance to be. He's got the ability. I know he wants to be that and wants to be great, and uh, he's right on the cusp. So. This year, it's about, you know, it's about making those steps 
in the pass game. The production will come. It's about making those steps in the protection game. We ask him to do a lot of things in protection in the run game. We don't ask, that other teams don't ask tight ends to do. Again, things that don't show up, he's got to do. And in our room, he's getting credit. He may not get credit elsewhere. But yeah, we want to take steps in all those areas so he can be a complete and then elite tight end in this league. You say he wants, you know he wants to be great. Does he talk to you about that? His absolutely, absolutely, about yeah. I think um, even when I wasn't in the room, we'd have conversations about that, right? Um, wants to be great. He wants to um, go out there and help us win games. And the best way he can do that is by being a great tight end. Um, I think he's probably intrinsically motivated, but I think it's always nice to get a paycheck like that. I think he'll be all right. So. Four saw how to play a little bit last year, but what's the next step for him? Uh, more reps. Just keep playing. He's been he's had a really good spring, and then so far these first few days, um, I can move him around everywhere. He's got to be versatile. That third spot's got to be able to play all the different spots, and he can do that. He's shown he can do that, and so just getting better, skill development, um, all the stuff that those three things I've already talked about.